Hello everyone, this is Digital Realm and welcome to the Anime Realm with me, Proen. Let's get into the episode. On today's episode, it went through numerous iterations to get to this point right now. What began was me going back to the earliest series I can remember, which was Dragon Ball Z, and then going from release date order to recent, and I wanted to talk about, review, and discuss with you all different animes that I really enjoyed. Then I was like, let's take a step back from that, and let's introduce my passion for anime and where that came from. So I was thinking of, again, Dragon Ball Z, Tenchi Universe, Cowboy Bebop, those sort of animes. Then I was like, no, we can go back further than that. And what actually triggered my passion for anime, which would be from cartoons. Cartoons like South Park and um, Simpsons and stuff like that. But then I was like, well, what was the bridge between that? What was the bridge between cartoons and then anime? What was it between like the Western uh, audience of things to the Eastern audience? Let's say from two Pacific series that I could come to mind from a very young age, and that would be Pokemon and Digimon. So I mentioned both Digimon and Pokemon being the bridge between liking cartoons to then liking anime, unlike those that I named uh, prior, Tension Universe, the Dragon Ball Z, Card Captors, even, say the Moon, those sort of things. When I was younger, those series would be known to me as cartoons. Later on, I found out actually those were anime, very different to the Eastern and the Western audiences. So, what got me into Digimon and Pokemon? And despite that being a big debate, and we can get into that at different points, this is my introduction to why I was drawn into it. So I mentioned both Digimon and Pokemon being that bridge between the cartoon loving me and the anime loving me. Obviously, I still love cartoons today, but what was that bridge and why, what, and why am I calling it a bridge of sorts? Well, for one, when I was that age, younger, you know, when a childhood, I didn't think of it as anime. I thought it was cartoon still. I was still thinking of like, oh, I'm watching like Simpsons, but I'm watching this or card captors even or Sailor Moon, um, Powerpuff Girls, that sort of thing. There's like a blend there between cartoon and anime. And my younger self didn't see that. Didn't think of it as anything other than, oh, I'm just watching cartoons still. So why now am I discussing it in an anime section in the realm of anime? That's because they are anime. So I mentioned that they're both animes. Now, what defines a cartoon to an anime? The way I've been explained it and the way I've been perceived it throughout my adolescence, my childhood, my teen years um, of watching anime and cartoons is that a cartoon would be done by like an American audience, an uh, American creator or a Western creator and then uh, the Easternized uh, audience and creators and all that from Japan would be an anime. So a Japanese animation would be anime. Um, obviously I looked into some, I just had a stop, there's a big section here where I kind of stopped and I was trying to put explain myself like what's the difference between anime and, and cartoons and I just told you the way I was explained it and I was trying to look for some other differences and they were talking about how uh, one's movement and one's stop motion, you know, not stop motion but movement of, of the uh, hand drawing and it wasn't really getting my like, explanation right so I'm going to go back to how I was originally explained it and that is of a cartoon is done by a westernized more American um, trailer and then anime is more of a Japanese animation from an Eastern audience. So when they started coming over to, well, when I was younger, I was living in England, when they were coming over to England, that was then the first exposure to that. So those, those, those bridge, as I was going back to my point originally, that bridge of the card captors, the Sailor Moons, the Pokemon and Digimon, which I explained, was my introduction to anime and was that that gateway in to grab me and, and, and show me a different world 
that I was seeing beforehand. And that's where my passion, that's where my love for it came into it. So what was it about those series that really grasped me? Well, let's discuss further. Now, there's two arguments here between Pokemon Digimon and what's the better series. And I'm not only going to get into that in this episode. What I will get into is what did they offer to me? What did they get me attached to? What did they um, show me that was different to what I knew as a cartoon? Why, why was this new realm to me so interesting? Why was it so fascinating? And that was merely because of what they offered. Now, with Pokemon, I can get into the series of Pokemon being like little monsters, little um, creatures of sorts that were being used to kind of overcome a big obstacle, a bigger challenge, that of a bigger um, Pokemon itself, a trainer, or just like an enemy of sorts that was trying to uh, capture them in the sense of like Team Rocket, Meowth, and all that, Jesse and James. But then I'm going into the storyline of things, which I don't really want to go into this part of the series of my anime realm episodes. What I want to touch base on though is that of the fact that there were so many different creatures, there were so many different like abilities and stuff like that. It really pushed my imagination, it really pushed my mind into wanting to dive deeper into those worlds. It was something that was never really elaborated, nothing that was really like pushed in that sense. Maybe now we have things more like um, Adventure Time and things like that, but back then Digimon was another form of like all these little creatures that had different abilities and stuff like that that was so new and the concepts were so interesting that I could get sucked into this world of Digimon that was a digital world which is how they, they sold it where Pokemon was more like grounded into the real world and Pokemon lived with the humans whereas Digimon was sucked into the real world and wasn't until the latest series that actually came out into the real world which is why I personally was fascinated so much more by Digimon. And that was because of the creatures, because of the abilities, because there was so much to it. Like you could have electric things and fire ones and ice and water and ground. Like there was so much to it that it, it's why the reason why I'm writing my NaNoWriMo books right now in the way that the writing, I'm writing them was based upon that. The whole principle of it was what is who I am today is because of Digimon and Pokemon. And uh, if it wasn't for those two, I don't know if I would have stepped onto uh, Dragon Ball Z, if I would have even mentioned onto Tenchi Universe, that sort of thing. Maybe I would have, but it was down to those two series. And it wasn't until I was thinking about this that that was really what got my passion into anime. And as much as I was fixated on the whole, like, going back on release dates and going off of reviewing anime by release dates and looking at like, oh, 1989, that's when Dragon Ball Z aired. Like, I was just going to focus on that. But going back further and being at, and going into the details of why I love anime was just because of these worlds, these worlds that had never even been entered into my thought process before, had never even been shown to me before, to how much they could be done other than oh, this is a cartoon, I'm going to be enjoying this, this is a little bubble. No, it could be so much more than that, and that's why anime is so fascinating, because I don't think it's, it's the different mindsets that would push my imagination, that I appreciate anime more so than a cartoon can, at least the older day ones. Cartoons today, they can definitely, um, they, do, they do kind of tend to touch upon them, and I'm not up to date with a lot of things, and why it's why, it's why I'm using this platform to kind of call out to you all because my knowledge does come from back then. I want to know more things about nowadays. Like, there's a few series I'm watching right now, like Attack on Titan, uh, Carbonero the Iron Fortress, things like that. But it, it's been around 2010. I kind of dropped off watching, not necessarily watching anime, because I kind of dropped off knowing the scene. I would like grasp on a couple of big names here and there, uh, and then I would just watch them and I wouldn't branch out. Like, you'll, you'll, you'll see when I go through my next couple of episodes within the anime realm that I have streams and it's hard for me to pick my top 10 within a time bracket because there were so many series. Um, later on, when like One Piece and stuff like that airs, I grasp onto that and I only watch that. It wasn't like I was watching anything else around it, um, which is unfortunate. And that's why I call that for you guys. Give me series. I'm going to be posting up my episodes from back then from 1989. I was watching Digimon and Pokemon from a very early age. Uh, I used to watch them on VHS. I used to record them um, through a video recorder. 
set sort of thing, you know, and watch them, and I'd be upset if I missed an episode, I'd be in tears. I'm like, I need to watch this, Dad, you know, I'm going to miss out on my episodes, because they, at least in Pokemon, there were so many, that they did them, like, every single week. There was a new episode out, whereas Digimon, it was more of like a series, like, here's a tight little series. Um, I can't exactly remember the exact amount of episodes, but there was like a set amount of episodes, whereas Pokemon is pretty much for the whole entire year or two or whatnot, and they have done weekly episodes ever since. However, bringing it back round to my intro bubble, because I'm kind of elaborating a little bit further than that, um, to my intro bubble was those two franchises before I even stepped into, um... Dragon Ball Z and stuff like that. It was I, I I think I even watched Tenzin Universe before Dragon Ball Z, and the reason I know that is because it wasn't until I moved into my new house back in England um, that I actually when we set up the cables and everything, we set up the um, satellite. I saw Dragon Ball Z airing on the big TV, and I was like, "Wow, this this is fascinating." And it was actually um, like a trader saying how it's up and coming. It wasn't even airing yet, and that was the uh, dub. I, haven't, I didn't start watching um, Japanese subtitles for a long time after that point. And the reason for that was because, again, I was, a, I was a child. They were introduced to me as dub. Nowadays, you ask me if I like double sub, I'm going to say subtitle. But again, I'll do an episode about that next time. The next point is what anime series were memorable to me from my childhood? You know, I mentioned Digimon, I mentioned Pokemon. But what other series? I've mentioned Tension Universe, I've mentioned... Um, Cowboy Bebop, that sort of thing, Dragon Ball Z. But there's also another one, and that's Outlaw Star. Now, this little uh, circuit, if you will, this little bubble that I'm talking about, were one of my few first animes, one of my first few series that I ever watched. And I was talking a moment ago about how the worlds were expanded from what I knew as cartoons, how all this, t- this uh, content was something that I didn't even fathom b- of seeing before. Something that was so new to me, so vastly different to me, that it was ex- exceptionally amazing to see these worlds being uh, lived in and breathed in. And absolutely fascinating that I just wanted to dive on in and, and join them in, these, in, in their, their adventures and stuff like that. Um, Love Hina was the number one. Um, now I'm branching on different ca- uh, calories here from adventure to sci-fi to... Um, comedy and that sort of thing but that's where my mind is going uh, with this series and that's why I want to uh, branch out to you all as I go through my adventures as I go through my my reviews and my talking about the older series I want to reach out to you and let me know what new series especially from 2010 2011 onwards that I should be watching maybe I have watched some of them but let me know which ones I, I should be checking up on as I get towards the newer um series like today's series um, that I can then talk about them and we can have a little community of anime um, because I would love to get more up to date with it because I'm so out of touch. No, I say so out of touch, but I am out of touch with what is going on. Obviously I have Crunchyroll and I'm, I'm going to be trying to get something cooked up with that, um, get you guys some um, premium passes sort of things. So I do subscribe to that and I can just throw them out on, on this channel uh, for you to get, I think it's like three days or something like that. Um, content and stuff like that, you know, for, for Crunchyroll for free. Uh, I would like to share that with you. So hit me up in the comments below and let me know what series you recommend from around 2011 onwards that I should be watching and that gives me the best series to watch. I will give you um, pass to Crunchyroll.com for, for free. I'll put them in the link and I'll send you a direct message um, to the series that I should be checking out. As I said, I've been watching Carbonero of the Iron Fortress. I just watched the anime, uh, the, the theatrical movie. I've been watching Attack on Titan, um, things like that. I watched Gate. So it's just to name a couple of things that I have watched, which were big ones. I haven't watched One Piece Man, so One Punch Man, sorry. One Piece as I watch. One Punch Man I haven't watched. So uh, there's an easy one for you to throw out there uh, and let me know why I should be watching One Punch Man because I have heard a lot of awesome things about it. But this has, been a, this has been the anime realm, this has been me proing, I'm going to throw little clips up here, uh, hopefully that's been working out and they've been playing right here the whole time, um, just like little intros of the Dragon Ball Z and stuff like that. Um, now, for what I can put out there, I'll find out, but uh, I do want to try and avoid copyright strikes and stuff like that on this channel. Um, I do want to try and make it, not necessarily advertiser friendly, but I want to make it advertiser friendly in the sense of YouTube. 
Um, but I don't care about like advertisers backing me for money, that sort of thing. Um, and it's just something that I'm really passionate about, something that I really want to share with you. Or if, they, if advertisers and stuff like that bring money into the channel and I get um, it back into my MCN, um, which will be another video later on, then that money will be used in, in improving this and obviously to try and have distractions away from cats which distract from the video and, and pull my quality down. So I, I do try and I make a good product for you to watch and enjoy. Um, so if I do get any money from anything like that, it's monetized, anything like that that you see popping up, it's not because I want just the money and that's why I'm doing this, it's because I'm passionate about it and I want to make some money in order to put better content out for you guys. So that's the only reason why um, that would be the case there. But I, I thank you all for watching, I thank you all for sticking by and, and, and listening to why I'm passionate about anime and, and what got me into the series. Uh, or the, 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 the anime in, in general compared to how it was back in the day with uh, cartoons that kind of entered in my gateway. Um, the next episode I will be talking about one of my, my first series. I've mentioned it before and that would be Dragon Ball Z. Uh, I'll be going through the, the topics that are um, by release date, not necessarily how I watched them in order because as I said, I watched a bunch when I was little and it's kind of hard to kind of go in order, so I'm going to go by release date, which would be Dragon Ball Z 1989 was released, and we'll go from there all the way through to the series that I really enjoy, and if I miss any along the way, definitely throw me uh, a comment in the, in, the, in the comments below, the section below, and let me know, hey, you went past this one that was released in such and such a date, and you didn't mention it, you know, maybe I, I've gone, I haven't got to that point yet, or maybe I have got to the, the next year, and you're like, hey, this one came out in like 1990, and you're on like 1992 right now, and you you haven't mentioned this uh, you know this this uh, anime. Uh, you should really check it out. And I'll be like, okay, then I'll do a feature length thing on it. Maybe we can watch an episode together, or um, after we I've watched the episode, I'll let you know when I'm gonna actually watch it, and then we can do a live feed, and we can do like a live little uh, um, Q and A section. Hey, if I liked it and stuff like that. If that's something that you like to do, then I definitely would be uh, um, I would definitely be up for doing that. Um, but I've been prone, you've been awesome, this is the Anime Realm on Digital Realm, and I thank you all for coming along and watching this episode. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to the video if you want to see more. Um, coming up will be my movie review of Your Name. Um, I watched the dub version, just as a little teaser into that. Uh, I didn't get a chance to watch the subtitle, but I will be looking out for the Blu-ray to come. And I will do a kind of like a boogie 2988. Um, thing where he has a non-spoiler free section and he moves it over to the other side for the spoiler just because I, I, I want to talk about this, the, 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 the films that I watch and stuff like that but I hate spoilers so I will have a small little like yeah it was a good and this is why and then I'll be like and this is why specifically why you know uh, I really liked it and we'll do the same thing for the, uh, the anime series as well but I thank you all for coming along and have yourself a, a good one Take care now and goodbye.